Hi there. My name is Jeff Miller, and I'd like to welcome you to another on-demand demo from the IBM ISV and Developer Relations Worldwide Developer Skills Program. In this demonstration, we'll introduce Rational AppScan, Rational's powerful black box security scanner for web applications and web services. AppScan can automate the process of scanning your applications for security vulnerabilities. This picture shows the relative amounts of vulnerabilities at each layer of the web application stack. AppScan scans where the majority of vulnerabilities occur. It works with web applications and web services. AppScan can also scan for web server vulnerabilities. After scanning, AppScan provides detailed reports that include details on vulnerabilities found, descriptions of what those vulnerabilities are, and actionable fix recommendations that can be given to developers and administrators to eliminate the vulnerabilities. We'll test a sample site that has several vulnerabilities to illustrate AppScan's capabilities. Let's start AppScan. I'll double-click on its desktop icon. The first dialog we see is the Welcome dialog. We have several options, but for this demo, we'll keep it simple and create a new scan. In AppScan, a scan is a set of properties and settings that determines what is scanned and how it is scanned. A scan is based on a scan configuration. Scans consist of an exploratory phase where AppScan learns about the application, followed by one or more test scans where AppScan looks for vulnerabilities in the application. This is the new scan dialog. A scan template is simply a scan configuration that has been saved so that you can use it for future scans. The default scan template contains typical properties and settings used in a scan. You can create your own custom user-defined templates to meet your specific requirements. We'll base our new scan on the default template. AppScan can also be used to automate the testing of web services, which are also prone to application-level vulnerabilities and, as such, should also be tested. Today we'll scan a web application. Here we indicate the URL of the application to be scanned. We'll scan a demo site that Rational maintains. Here we indicate the type of authentication to be used. The first two choices are for forms-based authentication. Recorded login lets you teach AppScan the procedure for logging into your site, which links to click, which text to input in forms, and the order in which to do the steps. Prompt login will prompt you to log in at the appropriate times, but you must still initially record a login procedure so that AppScan can know when it is logged out. Automatic login, which we'll select, will take the username and password entered on this screen and input them whenever prompted. No login is used when the application does not use form-based authentication or when the application does not require authentication. Besides form-based authentication, AppScan supports NTLM, proprietary to Microsoft, HTTP, client-side certificates, and two-factor authentication. Here we can choose a test policy. Test policies select the specific tests that will be run against an application. There are several different policies shipped with AppScan, and you can also create your own. The default policy executes all tests except invasive tests, tests which might affect the server's stability, and port listener tests, an out-of-band method to test for SQL injection. The wizard says we're ready to start a scan. With the scan configured, we can now decide how and when to run the scan. A full automatic scan immediately explores the application beginning at the starting URL and then goes directly into the testing phase. Starting with automatic explore only, 
immediately explores the application beginning at the starting URL and then lets you review what was found before beginning the testing phase. Starting with Manual Explorer will open AppScan's embedded browser and allow you to access the web application. AppScan watches where you go and uses this information to determine its testing. This is useful when you only want to test a portion of a site or when you want to make sure that AppScan follows a specific flow. The last choice allows you to save the scan and schedule it to run at a later time, unattended. We'll start a full automatic scan. The scan expert will do a short preliminary scan to evaluate the scan settings. It may suggest configuration changes and additional things to scan, such as Flash and JavaScript scripts. But for now, we'll keep things simple and uncheck it. Now the scan will proceed. We'll save the scan now so it can be saved automatically while scanning. 